in this video, we will answer question one. So keep on watching the videos. So this video is specifically for question one. The next video on additional mathematics, it will be for question two, just like that. So question one, like I said earlier on, that we're going to focus on. So question one uh, reads, find the equation of the line through the points zero. So point O, we have the coordinates, that's zero comma zero, which is perpendicular to the line through a point a that's a two comma negative four okay b is a one comma three so how do we find uh, the equation uh here we need to understand the idea of a coordinate geometry so the first thing must be to find the equation of this line, the line that is joining two points, okay? So we will say M is equal to Y subscript 2 minus Y subscript 1 over X subscript 2 minus X subscript 1, okay? So once we do this, we decide uh, following the points we have, this may be our x1, y1, x2, y2, okay? So it's a duty now of uh, plugging in the values. So what is our y subscript 2? It's 3 minus y subscript 1 is negative 4. So since this uh, negative 4, there is a negative here and we got a negative in the formula that we are using so we need to put it inside the, the brackets okay we say over our x sub sub 2 is 1 minus x sub 1 is a, a 2 so we work out things here we have 3 plus 4 over 1 minus a, a 2 so this is a po uh, negative and negative. We're getting a positive. Then we, we work out what is on top. What are we getting? We're getting a 7 over what do we have here is negative uh, 1. 1 minus 2 is equal to negative uh, 1. Finally, we divide our answer will be equal to negative 7. So the M is equal to negative 7. Okay. So now, since they said it's perpendicular, that's in the question. They said it's perpendicular. Okay. So the equation that we're trying to find, it's perpendicular. It's perpendicular, meaning the gradient will change. So the gradient we found here was found to be equal to negative 7. So our gradient 1, which is the new gradient because it's perpendicular, it's supposed to be uh, 1 over 7. Okay, we reciprocate. What do we mean when we say we reciprocate? We change the sign. First of all, we change the sign. It was positive, it was negative, now it will be negative. And then we make this number seven become the denominator and then on top we put a one in other ways it's the inverse okay and if you want to prove this you multiply you can say m times m1 must be giving you a negative one if it's giving you a negative one then you are good to go okay so this is our new gradient it's the gradient we're going to, to use. So now, we will use the formula for finding equation of a straight line, which is the right here. What is our M1 right here? We need to put the new gradient, which is M1. And what is our Y 
what is our x so we get from uh, these points okay or these coordinates we get from this 0 or point o we get our y to be equal to 0 our x be equal to 0 so it will be 0 is equal to uh, 1 over 7 as our gradient multiplied by 0 plus c we are solving for c okay so 0 will be equal to 0 here plus c so in this case our c will just be equal to 0 so our c is is a 0 now that we found our c to be equals to 0 and the gradient we have it which is right here we can write our equation to be equal to 1 over 7 there we have x here plus 0 so we just plug in this C will be there, the gradient there, Y and X maintain them. So the final answer will be 1 over 7 X. So this is it, the equation we are asked to find. Thank you so much. Kindly subscribe and uh, like. Also comment.